Okay, here's the sequential circuit six track. It's for sale on eBay right now, but I want to do a short tutorial on how all this stuff works. Um, this is your sequencer section right there. You see, look, I got a light lit. You got stack A. You see all the lights light up. That means it's using all six voices. Take it off the stack. Then you are using just this particular number, 63. So then right here in this section you have your synthesizer controls. And conveniently, right up on top, it tells you what they all do and it's fun to experiment with those things. To the back, you've got your MIDI in and out. It actually does work. you got your audio output, uh, which is mono, by the way. So what I'm doing here is running it through a nice little uh, cheap RP50 Digitech one of the things crybabies like to complain about with these keyboards is that it's only a four octave keyboard. Well, big deal. It's got the MIDI in, and you don't want to wear your keys out anyway, although they do have really good action. Um, so you can see below I've got another keyboard, which is really just a cheap Choi keyboard, 61 keys. If you want to go up to 88, you know, I've got one of those too, but this one's real convenient and uh, works very, very well with it. Good action, good uh, response time with the MIDI. There's no lag or delay. Then if you really want to get the most of it, you want to use, run it through, because it is a mono signal coming out. If you're using one of these effects processors, then um, it actually has a stereo output. Raw analog synthesizers are going to have a little bit of noise. You can really pull some magic out of these things if you just equalize out the sounds that you don't like and pop in the ones that you do. Okay, here you heard that before. <laughs> Way that you work with those is you got to just push this record button you hit sequence a and when you're ready for it to end you hit that record button so then that first track sets the timer of the loop it automatically goes into a loop once you once you tap out of it and now we're going to just go ahead and set number three up, hit record, number three, and as soon as you see it flash. Okay, so then in your stack mode, you've got different voices here, you set it for the different... Okay, so you've got it set up with your MIDI. All you have to do is connect it, standard MIDI. Take your output of one keyboard, put it to the input of this one, and you can see I'm playing down here. Now when you see all lights light up, that's unison mode. That means that this particular voice is working all six voices, and it gives a nice big fat sound individually. That's what these stacks can do. Or you can actually change the parameter on this and, and take it where it'll just do that, but I'm not going to do that at this point. I just want to do this. And so when it's in unison mode like that, you're dealing with a, a monophonic mode in effect where you're using all six voices up but what that does is it throws it into that big fat sound and watch both watch both my hands if i'm going to go over here to the left side see it'll it'll default to the lower tone and so you can hang on up here Sounds like magic. Now you're a guitar player.
I'm not a 